y'all that like to say hello they always send me direct messages about river here's river right here say hello river say hello to the camera say hey everybody out there in camera land <laughs> that's my buddy river guys that's my first mate in case if you guys don't know he always gets on the boat with me he loves his boat more than i do the fact that crappy when the water gets warm that they go deep okay i'm fishing on a 200 acre lake it's a private lake and the deepest parts are 24 feet and if you go back and you watch some of my earliest videos matter of fact in december november december and january you'll see that i'm dropping habitat i'm dropping lay downs and i'm dropping high-rise condos and flats okay though the work that i put in in november december and january are still holding crappy today so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to use these i'm going to show you guys how to use these simple marker buoys okay just like this okay you just drop it in the water when you see it when you see the brush pile on 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 uh, sonar you just drop this marker buoy in the water it has a lead weight on it it goes right down to the bottom and this stops spinning so that marks the brush pile that lets you know where the crappy are okay and once we find them and we mark them and i'm going to show you guys a couple of them when i mark them i'm going to show you show you on, on the screen we're going to be using our cam action hooks we're going to use some blood red we're going to use some gold these are one out. the one that I've been telling you. These are my hooks. These are Cam's hooks, okay? These are one out. So I'll be using some blood red, some gold, okay? I hadn't decided which one's better, which one's, you know, it's just a matter of preference. So, listen, these, these custom-made hooks with the Cam action, as a matter of fact, let me pull one out right now so I can show it to you guys. Okay, you'll be able to see the Cam action, which it torts towards pressure, okay? You can see how, how that shaft is crooked right there. You see that? Put it up there so you guys can see it real good. Whenever the fish bite, this point turns up to the roof of their mouth. And I'm going to show you guys an example when I hook some of these crappy. We're using minnows today. The bites are hard to come by. You, gotta ha you guys have to remember you need to have different items in your boat or when you're fishing from land. Sometimes they may want crappy. Sometimes they may want stinger shad. Sometimes they may want curly tail jigs. But right now, we're in the dog days of summer. The water temperature is about 84, 85 degrees and they're not moving they're not going to be chasing anything so let's see if we can get in there we're headed over the crappy point right now let's see if we can have some luck so sit back get your cup of coffee relax yourself guys i'm going to see if we can debunk the theory that crappy always go deep 16 17 18 20 feet when the water gets gets warm and we're going to see if we can catch them on in six feet of water on our brush piles that we put out okay hold tight yeah let's throw it out it's right on those crappy right there right on a drop off okay you can see the screen Okay, it drops from six to ten feet. Okay, I'm going to get another marker, and all I do is just bend the lead straight. You want to make sure your lead is straight so it doesn't get caught up in any brush. Okay, can you guys see that? And when we see it on the screen, all we do is just throw it out. Let's ride around a little bit. Let's see if we can locate another one. You you'll be able to see it on the screen. Hold on a second. Let me light it up. Here we go. Let me light it up a touch so you can see it. 85, 86 degrees. It's going back and forth. Okay, again, you can go back and look at my videos where I built the habitat. If you want to know how to build the habitat, you just go right back in my videos. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have it in the description. Let me turn you around just a touch. There you go. I'm in nine feet of water right now. Look at that. See them right there in eight feet? There's the other brush pile I just threw out right there. Okay, they're in eight feet, seven feet. They're suspended right there. That's, an, that's another one of my brush piles right there. So we just threw that marker out. They're actually side by side. We're gonna go up here a little bit. And I wanna tell you guys this, these markers cost me two for $5. And you guys have seen my two-man boat. You've seen me I did a segment on my boat. If you, I, I probably have that in the description too. I didn't pay seventy, eighty thousand dollars for this little old boat. Okay, so I want you guys to know. Look, here's another brush pile. See it? It's in five feet of water. Let me pull, let me pull you down a little bit so you guys can see it. There you go. Here's another one of my brush piles. Six feet of water. Water temperature eighty-six degrees. If I throw in this brush pile, I'm definitely going to get hung up, but we're just going to throw it out there so we'll know exactly where that brush pile is. We want to know where it, where it is so we don't get hung up on it. 
okay? So listen, hold tight for a minute. I'm gonna put out a couple more, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna lace these minnows up and we're gonna be ready to fit. How I spring my hooks up, I mean my minnows. Let me pull that off right there. I run mine through the tail, okay? I got that segment also on my channel and I make sure that he doesn't touch any of the organs so he moves just like that. That sporadic movement right there is what those crappy look for. If you hook them through the lip, they're not sporadically moving, look like they're injured when you hook them through the lip. Plus they seem to last a little bit longer when you hook them through the tail as well. Our magic number is six feet. We're fishing exactly at six feet. We're running six poles, five poles, I'm sorry. So, two for five dollar marker buoys, a pack of the cam action cams hook, and two dollars per dozen for the minnows. And I'm off and running, just like that. Look at that, guys. Just like that. So listen, I didn't pay $80,000 for this boat, and I'm still out here catching crappie. Let me put him back in the holder. We were, what, 60 seconds? 90 seconds in the hole? Look at that. Okay, we're, going to, we're catching and releasing today, so we're going to let these rascals go. But if you notice, we were right at the marker. Let me put my, my the sun started to come out a little bit. If I can do this, let me turn you around. If I can do this, guys, anybody can do this, okay? And let me, let me say this. There are a whole lot more better fishermen out there than I am. And speaking of better fishermen, I want to send a shout-out to my man, Ken. Y'all also know him better as Hook City TV, a.k.a. Snatch him up out the water, Ken. Listen, if y'all get a chance, check that brother's channel out. And I, I, listen, there are a whole lot, as I was saying, a whole lot better fishermen out there than I am, okay? But all I do is get out here and I do the little things good. That's it, okay? Let's head back up to this marker right here. We're in 12 feet of water right here. We're going to inch back up to that six foot area where we got our, our habitats down and we're going to see if we can have some more luck. Look at that. Whoa! Look at that. Look at that, guys. We're not, we're, we're, we're six foot, six feet away from our mark and we're catching, we're snatching crappy. We've only been out here four minutes, five minutes. Look at that. Look at that crappy. Look at that. Remember, we're catching and releasing today, so we're going to let these rascals go. All right, watch my camera for me. All right, holler at me, let me know. I'm getting ready to put another minnow back on. As a matter of fact, the next one that I pull out, I want to show you guys where the hook set is. I apologize that I didn't show you with these cam action hooks. Bingo. Whoa. Little rascal. Guys, I'm right between those markers. As a matter of fact, let me show you guys this hook set. You remember I mentioned to you about that cam action, whenever it torques towards pressure, right? Good night. We're running doubles, guys. Let me show. I'm gonna show both of you guys. Let me say this. I'm gonna show you the hook set on both of these rascals. Okay. That way you have no doubt to what I'm saying. Okay. I'm gonna show you the hook set if, they, if these guys will relax for a minute. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna hold them up first. I'm gonna let you see the hook set right in the roof of the mouth. You see that? Can you guys see that? I hope you can see it. I'm gonna I'm gonna thumb him real quick and let you guys see it. If this rascal here will open his mouth. There we go. You see the hook set? Right in the roof of the mouth. Let me put it up there a little bit closer. That's what that cam action hook does. Let's see if I can get this rascal off of there. Ugh. And I'm hoping. Ah. We messed up his eye. There you go. Let's throw him away. Put him back in the water. Let me show you this one. Look where the hook set is. Right in the roof of the mouth. You see it? Guys, that's what those cam action. Matter of fact, I'm running the gold. Let me show them to you. I'm running the gold right now. Let me show you the cam action hook so you can see it. You guys see that? See that cam action hook? 
And my last episode, you can see I got that clinch knot. I'm not running a new and improved cams clinch knot. I'm running a regular clinch knot, okay? There you go, guys. Those markers are invaluable because you'd be surprised when you see something on sonar um, and you find it on sonar, it's important to mark it right then and there because it's very hard to relocate it. You'd be surprised how hard it is to relocate a spot once you... Matter of fact, let me turn you guys around. Let me wipe my, wipe my hands off real quick. You'll be surprised at how hard it is to find a spot once you run across it and you, 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 you don't mark it. It's very, very difficult to find that spot again. So listen, what we're going to do right now, you see I only got one, two, three, four markers out. Matter of fact, let me turn the boat a little bit. Let me turn it a little bit so you guys can see it. I know the sun's in our face. But you can see how many markers I got out there right now. So when you guys get a chance, check me out at Cam's Crappy Hole. Uh, if you go to camscrappyhole.com, you can purchase your t-shirts, which is one of the ones that I have on right now. This is the blue cams. Uh, we got a whole bunch of apparel in there. You can see the bracelets I have on, the cams watch, the shades. All this stuff is available at Cam's Crappy Hole. So let's get back in there. Let's see if we can catch a few more, okay? Hold tight. It's getting late. Sun's going down. And I'm going to head on back in, but I hope that I helped someone by filming this segment and helping a few of you guys land a little bit more fish in the boat. Don't be afraid to try something different. Don't get caught in the goat trail of doing the same thing over and over and over again, okay? Because just the same as you like something to diff different to eat every now and again, crappie are the same way, okay? Fish, period. So don't be afraid to try something new. Step out of the box. Try it. You may like it. You'll be surprised sometime. Anyway, keep those hooks wet, and we'll see you guys on the next turn. All right? This is your boy Cam.